hello viewers welcome back to my channel in this video we are asked to solve this simple math problem this is yx uh, theory question 2024 theory question number four and then they gave us this and said that in the diagram that a b c d is a circle centered at o okay so this is center o sorry centered at o and then they say that the quadrilateral b o c d okay or o b c d rather is a rhombus such that uh, this is equal to this and is equal to y so that here is equal to y and then here is equal to t and i say we should find the value of t now first of all you should know that that here is equal to what 2t why because angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference so we tell them that what that angle b o d is equal to two angle b a d okay angle b o d which is this place is two times angle what b a d and my reason is what angle at the center equals two times equals twice twice angle at o c c e o c e c e is the short form for circumference so therefore angle b o d is equal to two times t so therefore angle b o d is equal to two t okay now since they say that that b o d c this quadrilateral is a rhombus and the property of a rhombus is that the opposite angles are equal here is equal to here while here should be equal to this side as well okay so if here is 2t automatically here is 2t so we tell them that what that angle b c d is equal to angle b o d okay which is equal to 2t and my reading my reason is what opposite opposite angles of a rhombus okay so now having this we can now get our t because we should know that uh, that angle angle B A D plus angle angle B C D is equal to one eight. So this angle plus this angle is equal to one eight. And what is my reason? Sum of angle uh, opposite angle of a cyclic word. Okay, opposite angles of or sum of opposite angle of a cyclic word. So sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral okay so that's my reason for that so the next thing we do is what so the next thing we do is to have that bad 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 is my t plus bcd is my what 2t so if you add the have what they say is equal to 1 8. So I'm having that what 3t is equal to 1 8. So therefore, my t will now be 1 8 divided by 3, which is what 60 degrees. So that is that. So the next thing we get is our y. How can we get our y? Uh, what do we do now to get y? Now it's very simple. We can have that. Um, <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay <coughs> sorry so one of the easiest ways to get y is that we can say that let me decide to construct this place if i decide to construct this place okay i'm going to have that here is equal to here i hope you know so therefore the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal so what do i have that here is now let me say that here is x and if here is x here should be x okay uh -huh. now another thing you should know is that uh since okay so another thing you should know that that here should be will be x as well here should be x as well because they are all equal the opposite sides are equal okay of a rhombus the opposite sides are equal so they are all x so for me to get my x it will now be easier so if i can get my x it can now help me to get my y but another way we can get y is by saying we can get this place if i get this place then i cannot say this place plus this plus this plus this is equal to uh, 360 why because 
it is some of angle in a what in a quadrilateral so a quadrilateral is a shape that have four angles okay so i have one two three four so let us do that so i hope you know that you know that reflex angle reflex angle reflex angle b o d is equal to what 360 360 minus the normal angle b o d so my answer is what sum of angle at a point so that's my reason sum of angles at a point okay so therefore so so this is now the reflex angle b o d is equal to 360 minus 2t so here is 360 minus minus 2t so 360 minus 2t okay so now let us have everything in this quadrilateral and then we add it up to you we equate it to 360 because the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 so uh permit me to clean okay so let's have that y plus another y plus t plus what 360 minus 2t is equal to 360 so my my reason here is what sum of angles in quadrilateral quadrilateral b a c o okay b a c b a d o sorry b a d o okay so we're going to have uh, this plus this to give us 2y uh now 360 is taking care of 360 obviously okay so 2y is equal to this minus this to give you t so this cross i have that 2y is equal to t so therefore y is equal to what t divided by 2 which is what 60 divided by 2 which is 30 so we have gotten our uh, y to be 30 okay so now So what's the next thing? The next thing is now for us to get our ADC angle A D C. So we need to get all these angles. So if we can get our X plus X plus Y, we are done. So don't forget that we have gotten that our T is 60, sorry, and then our Y is 30. Okay. So now for us to get our X, to get X is very easy. So we can use some of angle in a quadrilateral as well by saying that what 2t plus 2t plus x plus x plus x plus x is equal to 360. So this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this will give us 360. And our reason is what the sum of angles in quadrilateral B O D C quadrilateral b o d c okay so now we now have that 40 plus 4x is equal to 360 so therefore we're going to have that 4 in bracket of 60 plus 4x is equal to what is equal to 360 so this time this is um, 240 plus 4x is equal to 360 so therefore 4x will now be 360 minus 240 so therefore 4x will now be equal to so we're going to have okay 360 minus this is um 0 to 1 120 so my x will now be 120 divided by 4 so i'm having 30 so my x is equal to 30 as well so therefore angle adc angle adc will now be equal to y plus x plus x which is equal to what 30 plus 30 plus 30 which is what 90 degrees so that is that thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like our video comment subscribe and share to your friends may the peace of the lord be with you bye, -bye.